everyone, look! Oh, it's the desires! That means the throne room's just ahead. Let's not waste any time. So this is where the monarch of Sapporo resides. Is this all carved ice? It must be really cold. A frozen cape that denies all entry. Does this represent her distrust for all others? You are? You don't look so good. Are you alright? Mm-hmm. I should be. Then let us proceed as usual. Skull, it's up to you. I don't know why you're volunteering me, but here goes nothing. You did this! It's all your fault! How could you be so ignorant? Did you not think a snow sculpture could collapse? I... I apologize on behalf of our staff. Here it comes! Collapsing snow sculpture. This is where she... It must have been so heavy. It must have been so painful. Get me back, Kaho! Give me back my daughter! And my precious little girl. The accident resulted from my own personal oversight. Truly, I'm so sorry. Is the mayor the one apologizing? Shh, there's still more. <sighs> well, I didn't think the statue had fall on anybody. But isn't this the mayor's responsibility in the end? Well, besides, who can blame me? Well, we don't get paid nearly enough. Nothing wrong with taking a little kickback here and there. Those voices must be the root of Mariko Hiyota's trauma. So, that snow sculpture incident... Didn't we first hear about it at the park? We did, but I had no idea. Could Mari-san have really been involved? Is that the source of her trauma? Taking the blame for that incident? Don't forget the guy's voice. It sounded like he was trying to pass the blame on someone. At any rate, this is vital information. Let's go back to reality and confirm the truth. I dug up some articles about the snow sculpture incident. Let me fill you guys in. Two years ago, a large snow sculpture collapsed during the December Snow Festival sponsored by Sapporo Central City. Kaho Nanase-chan, a nine-year-old girl, was caught in the collapse and died. Despite Mayor Hyodo's apology, the accident was ruled as an unforeseeable disaster. Therefore, she wasn't held liable. Oh, so that's what the flowers in the park were for. I wonder if the voice accusing Mari-san was the poor girl's mother. So this is Mari-san's trauma. That park where the snow festival was held is probably where the accident happened. Yeah. Let's use Emma and enter the keyword there. This is where the accident happened, isn't it? If we put in the keyword here, we should be able to access the trauma cell. There may be enemies ahead. Are you sure you guys are ready? That's right. I want to see what happened to Mari-san with my own two eyes. The keyword is Snow City. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. What is this? It looks like this is the snow festival. Check out those two suits over there. I didn't know you were accepting rebates. <laughs> I see a career man in the making. Sir? Would you please be discreet about this? I can do that. But in return, you need to do me a favor. 
I want her to take full responsibility for the incident. That way, she'll resign. Once that happens, I'll be the new mayor in town. And you'll be my well-paid associate. You will cooperate, won't you? Yes. Yes, of course. What did you just say? Ah! The mayor! Oh, it seems I've been found out. It's not what it looks like, Mayor. This is really... Mayor? Does he mean Mayor Hyoto? Then... Mari-san saw this happen? I had no idea you were behind this. That anyone was behind this! Huh. You really don't get it, do you? Well, this festival is held by the city. I mean, it comes out of the taxpayer's pocket. I figured, why not lower costs and hire cheaper construction? But what's wrong with getting compensated for it? The rest of our staff makes these deals all the time. So, what's the harm in one little mishap? That sculpture collapse was just bad luck. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm calling the police. Well, go ahead and do it. But I'm bringing you down with me. What? I'm gonna testify that I did it under your orders. Then you'll be ruined. Well, after all, you're the one in charge here. See, I even have the papers you signed. Right here. Such an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to say, but you're finished, Mayor. You have counsel, aren't you? Don't you want to do the right thing? As far as I'm concerned, that's whatever's right for me. Well, are you finally ready to listen? Answer me, Mayor. Be ready. How can you blame a peon like me? We don't get paid enough for this. This world revolves around money. Money talks, bullshit walks, Mayor. Bastard! Threatened the Mayor? Is that it? I had no idea Mari-san went through something like this. Something so awful. Think later, act now. We've got a real fight in our hands here. Persona! With this! I appreciate it. Oh, oh, let's go. go. I'll take the mayor down Let with me! me. He's up to something. Can anybody stop this? Wait a second! Yeah. Yeah. Punch it away! Power power it's time! Let's strike it a hawk! Right there! Be done! Because you gave your approval! <laughs> this is it! This guy's atrocious! He's a little blame on the mayor! He's here to set Marisol right! Listening to guys like you is a waste of our precious time! Things should be open when they be! Everyone do your best! Get out of here! Damn! Oh, that's all! I can do it! Quick, it's follow up, Sophie! You're a You're up! Give it to me! Switching up. I'll do it. The defense of the nearby shadows has gone way up. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. She's Mitra. Persona. His power. Is so connected. Look at this. Great Joker. You're mine. Nah. What is that family? You're mine. What She's a black ooze. She's a black ooze. Why we no ooze man? Let's go. I'll use this. She's a me truck. Take this. Do you really the death of a sweet yeah. so yeah. tragic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you do? Yeah. You should have just come yeah. aside and disappeared. Your mind. Man, I'm gonna take two. Go down on me. Damn it. No one likes a future politician. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Persona, take it! I know, nice Joker! You hit his weakness! Uh, Only a strong uh, uh, Do not uh, 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 out of the question! Remember that! You're mine! I'm gonna take two! Joker got in a follow-up attack! Grab it, sir! Grab it, sir! Showtime! Mitra! Here! One single Rio! One It's so exactly what we're around to! Persona! Mitra! Come on, everyone! Keep the yourself! I will clean right through your shield! Take this! Take this! Seems I've gained new power. Well, that's all of them. We can get into the throne room now. Who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. One was a city employee. The other must have been a councilman. Someone higher up on the ladder. Anyway, it seems this employee accepted an illegal donation from the contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Payment for landing them the job. In other words, bribery. We don't know if the sculpture collapsed due to a structural issue or a general lack of care. The result is still the same. Either way, the councilman was in the know. Not only that, he tried using a fatal accident to take Mayor Hyodo's position. Something along those lines. Uh, unforgivable. Everything makes sense now. Kyoto overheard this conversation by chance and found out the truth about the accident. Not only was it someone from the city, but even her own staff had blackmailed her. It's messed up. These greedy assholes only wanted money and power. Now I have a better understanding of what Hyoto must be thinking. When she found out those around her were immoral, she became determined to purge the corruption above all else. That's why she's overworking her staff and trying to push her ethics bill through. And on top of it, she's trying to manipulate the people into re-electing her. Mari-san. Well, no matter what the reason, the birdcage is finally open. Let's head back to the hideout and discuss the specifics of the calling card. So, what do we do for the calling card? Maybe we shouldn't go overboard with it. I don't really see her as a bad person. Yeah, the real bad guy here is the one who took the bribe. No, the guy who offered the bribe in the first place is the true villain. Was it not the shoddy contractors who built the sculpture? And they deserve the most punishment. <sighs> you guys sound pretty heated. Who's to say one man's more evil than the next? So you were here all along. Whoa, why the hostility? You guys forgot about me, didn't you? Why would you not get in contact with me? Well, uh, now that you mention it... Gramps, you completely slipped our minds. <sighs> Alright then. Maybe I'll forget to keep you from getting arrested. Okay, we're sorry. Uh... Forget it. So what's our situation? Now I get the picture. So that's how Mariko Hyoto became a monarch. Uh, that would explain your debate as to who was the worst of them all. What's your take on it, Gramps? My take is you kids are naive. What do you mean? 
It's clear that Mariko Shioto was cornered by a pair of rotten scumbags. Tragic, I agree. But what is she doing in response? Isn't it just as wrong to change people's hearts and manipulate them? That may be true, but... Furthermore, that accident was her responsibility, being that she's the top of command. Regardless of who did what, a real leader takes the fall. But even so... It may be a bitter pill to swallow, especially for a group of justice-loving kids operating outside the law, but the real world isn't so cut and dry. And the longer you keep up this hero charade, the harder it'll bite you in the ass down the line. Kichi, that's terrible! Take it back! Come on! <sighs> Sorry. Might have overstepped my boundaries. No, I can understand your line of reasoning. You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If we give up now, then the people who are counting on us won't have any hope left. We help people in a way no one else can. That's why the Phantom Thieves exist. I understand you all take this very seriously. Then tell me, either way the cards fall, you're not letting Shoto get away with what she's doing, are you? Correct. We're going to stop her, Haru. What Mari-san is doing is forcing her warped intentions onto other people. And we can't let that happen, no matter what the reason. Right. We're the Phantom Thieves, and we fight for what we believe in. Yes, we're gonna stop Yodo. But we'll do it in a way that's true to us. I have no objections. It's decided, then. Thank you. So how will we send the calling card? Maybe we could send it over with some curry to the mayor's office? What are we, a catering service? <sighs> if anything, it should be ramen. Might be better to avoid closed spaces, actually. After all, she'll probably be outside prepping for the election most of the time. There's no point sending a calling card if the target doesn't see it. I wonder if we can send it somewhere on her campaign route. Like somewhere she's bound to pass by. Then how about where the Suzushino posters are? I'm sure she'll have a speech over there. Yeah, and if we time it with her speech, it'll be perfect. The question is, who's going to place it there? Ah, uh, no. Not again. Seriously? Thanks in advance, Gramps. Now hold on just a minute. Didn't I already pull this stunt for you in Sendai? Consider it a favor, then. Yeah, for being such a meanie earlier. Shouldn't you own up to it? There's no need to worry. We'll make the calling card for you. We'll be counting on you, Gramps. Oh, you little weasels. All right, fine, fine. I'll post the damn calling card. We really do appreciate it. How'd I let them twist my arm like this? Uh, whatever. If we're really doing this, it'll be early in the morning. Don't be late. Hey. This is the request. This is the request. Yeah! 